What's up, part of Drumming Family? In today's episode, we'll be playing a three-way polyrhythmic groove by Virgil Donati in 2, 3, and 7. This episode was specially requested by my affection member, Cameron Tyler Berry. The first polyrhythm we're going to practice is a 2 against 3. 3 on the hands and 2 on the feet. That's the easiest polyrhythm, except that we're going to play it across 7-8, which will take 3 bars to resolve. The second exercise is adding quarter note accents on the hi-hat hand. We will get a 3 against 4 feel extending the rhythm across 6 bars before it resolves. The guitar is playing this main riff in 7. And the snare is following this in a 3 set phrase. We're going to put that snare together with the polyrhythm we've been practicing, finally making it a three-way polyrhythmic groove. And that's why we started playing the two against three polyrhythm in 7-8 at the beginning.
We add our ghost notes and we're done. Take note, I'm using a ghost note figure that I like and not exactly what Virgil plays. It's worth taking note that the song actually starts with just the bass drum, which on its own sounds just like a quarter note pulse, but it's actually an illusion. Check this out. Gavin Harrison mentions this a lot, referring to this sort of thing as a rhythmic illusion. But props to Virgil for actually using this in a song all the way back in 1999. If you know of an even older song that features such a rhythmic illusion like Pyramids on Mars, let me know. I would love to hear it in the comments below. That's it for today's episode. If you enjoy my videos and want to support my work, please become a patron and join the Art of Drumming faction. Your help is the only way I can keep doing more of these tutorials and provide them to everyone on YouTube for free. In the meantime, don't stop dreaming and don't stop drumming.